Hello everyone and welcome back to Creative Design and Supply. Today I want to show you, um, I have this cut file that I purchased off Etsy and I don't want to do all the colors like this. It's tedious doing it this way. So I have chose to use Specialty Materials Rainbow Round for the picture that is in this video. This is what I've chose. And so I'm going to show you something about cut by color. So if you use cut by color, which I chose the black and the pink um, as my colors. So over here, I want to show you that if you're using any of these settings, no matter what they are, and you have it on auto cut and your blade needs to be, you need to bump up your force. Um, I like to use my blades as long as I can so I can adjust a little bit more on the force and I'll have a notepad for HTV or whatever, just trying to get a little bit more life out of that blade. So if you do not change, so say I'm going to unclick, okay, and I'm just going to cut the pink. Now, if I have it on auto cut, it's going to be the auto setting and it's going to stay like that. Sometimes it will revert, which whenever it reverts for heat transfer smooth, it says two and four. Mine will not cut for that. Um, I try to use my blade, like I said. So I have to go up to about 18 on it. And if I don't set this to cut and not auto cut, when I press send, it will go directly back to, I'm gonna click the revert button because as soon as I press send, it will do this and then cut. So it'll go back to two and 10. I hope that helps someone. If you have any questions about this, just comment below. And I do have videos on cut by color and how to take the compound path out, select a color and cut by color. All right. Like I said, if you have any other questions, comment below and have a great day. Thanks. I hope this helps someone.